last little save point here. So know what that means there. Boss time's coming. Hello and welcome everyone. This is your guide, Ryan Phoenix. Can you climb back aboard the bus as we continue the tour of Soul Blazer? That's right, after a bit of a hiatus on this there, it's been, been a good while since we played this one here. <laughs> we are ready to get back into some Soul Blazer action here. And climb up this very long hill here. <laughs> and find some slimes at the top there. Eh, not too surprised. <laughs> Alright. I'm thinking that we'll be able to get, if not all the way through this dungeon, then most of the way through before the end of today there. And did you see that? Yep. Yeah. Gotta be careful there. Gotta be on the lookout for all those sort of spots there. And there's actually a spot, if you remember, there where some of the wizard, some wizard robe enemies were appearing and we killed from afar. But for coming all this way, we get a strange bottle, which we don't need. <laughs> Alright, and I think I saw something here. Yep, yeah, there it was. <laughs> and we got some more bats to deal with, so let's go ahead and, yep, we got our magic flare ready, so let's put it to use here. And just wait for it, wait for it. Bam, ah, we got three there. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright, there we go. Got rid of the last of them. Oh, found another treasure chest here. Alright, what we have? And here we received Rotator. Oh, what in the world is that? Well, it's actually another new, a new spell here. And it only costs one gem there. Like, sort of deceiving here. I'll go ahead and show it off to you here. Go ahead and equip that. And now if we use our magic. Yeah, you can see it makes this string of energy around you there, but uh, just keep your eye on the gems there. Yeah, it drains them as long as you hold it there, one gem at a time. So a little deceiving on the <laughs> on the cost there. Right now I'm going to go and put my light arrows on. I don't think that we'll need those here in the near future. But yeah, uh, not too bad if you're like surrounded by enemies or got somebody up really close there that's got a lot of HP. Alright, and I've got some more wizard robes down there. But I'm gonna go ahead and take care of him from over here with some magic arrow. Alright, and a level up. Huzzah! Level 16, not bad. Alright, take this guy out here. There we go. Alright, and let's head on down here and see what we unle uh, unleashed here. Released. <laughs> Be released a boy! Who's apparently in prison. Okay, eh, well. <laughs> Don't know what that's all about, but all right. Well, let's go ahead and move along here. And yeah, we got more wizard robes over there, so wait for that one to come to us and take him out. And now we'll use a little bit of magic to take these two out. There we go. That worked out nicely. Probably gonna use a good bit of magic to just take these guys out from a distance here, just because they're so annoying the way that they disappear and reappear on you. So, you know, if you can get them while they're standing still, you might as well do it, right? That's why I figure. <laughs> Alright, and we got some more here. But these ones will all pile up on you there, not coming one at a time there, so you can just wait until they're all there. And blast them all at once there. Makes life pretty easy on you. <laughs> and what do we have here? He's released. The snail Gnome. What? Wait, he's in jail too? Yeah, if you remember, he's one of the friends of Lisa there that we were told about way back in, earlier in the game. So he's got to be somebody important, right? Well, we'll have to talk to him and find out here soon. Alright, got some more slimes here, and okay, yeah, they are gonna, hmm, gonna spawn there until they're all gone, so now we'll just give it a second there, let them build up. Yeah, I think that's all of them there. There we go. And we got some stairs, woo, stairs. Everybody loves stairs, right? Right. Alright. But not with robes. <laughs> we can do without those. And bam. Alright. And I'll take care of you. And, huh. Doesn't seem to be anything over here. Hmm, well then. <laughs> Let's head up here. And now this area is open up to us. And let's go ahead and put our magic flare back on to deal with these bats here. Uh, never realized how quite how handy this spell was there. <laughs> uh, of course, you just gotta come one at a time here. Uh, that's probably the most annoying 
the bat spawners they're the ones that come once uh, one at a time here like this takes so long to deal with but oh uh, well it's all right nothing that we can't handle in the end take you out and oh okay we got ourselves a jewel here so we can head back to the back to the village so we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick and what we get some experience woo experience yeah let's go ahead and head back and talk to some of the souls we released all right I'm back there I did go back to the town but uh, it doesn't look like we could do anything just yet so uh, we'll just go ahead and move on with the dungeon here head down this way and into the next part of the underground lake here uh, got some more wizard ropes to deal with and it looks like these are the kind of just come one at a time here but uh, let's go ahead and throw our light arrow back on here and take care of them that way uh, just one shot with the light arrow there I figure that's pretty well the way to go here <laughs> don't have to deal with them disappearing on you there don't have to deal with their trickery anymore All right, and we got some slimes here but uh, these ones will pile up for us so we'll just wait them out and blast them there we go <laughs> Easy as that. And here we release a mushroom. Alright. <laughs> Wonder if that'll be of any importance there. Uh, well, let's wait. have to wait and see. Alright. Uh, just leave that guy be for now. And we've got some more bats to deal with, so back to the magic player here. Got to switch back and forth a decent bit here in this part. Not too much, but you know. Just enough to note there. <laughs> Alright, uh, check up here. No, no, don't want to go that way yet, so let's go to the right here. Uh, got more wizard robes there, so back to the light arrow here. <laughs> and let's take them out one at a time here. While we're doing that, how's everybody doing today? Hope that you're doing well. Um, doing pretty good. I can't complain too much, I suppose. <laughs> uh, got a special package in the mail yesterday there, so I'm going... Uh, I've already recorded my next unboxing video there with that, so you're going to have to wait and see that. That's going to be on the RPG Tour Guys channel there, so be sure to check that out and remember to subscribe if you aren't already. <laughs> right, more woods robes there, but these are the easier kind there, and they all came right out to us there, so that was nice of them. And we're releasing another monster there. Oh, look at all those slimes there. Well, let's see if we can deal with them over here. Alright, yeah, I think that there's one more up at the top that we couldn't reach there yet. Alright, and yeah, that should take care of it. Yep, yeah, there we go. What we release here? Beast released? Grandma! Oh, about time that we started catching up on the grandmas there. The grandma and grandpa ratio is a bit off. <laughs> Alright, and over to the left now. And uh, I can't really force my magic over that way, so I'm just going to run at him and take care of him that way. Gotta do it the old-fashioned way. Although, I do want to take care of that guy just because... Just because he's being a nuisance to me there. <laughs> Alright, take you down. Go ahead and open that up. And there should be just one or two more of the wizard robes here. Yeah, uh, there you are. Okay, I guess so this should be the last one. <laughs> if I'm counting correctly. Yep, yeah, there we go. Alright. And let's head down first. Oh, more wizard robes. But these ones are going to all come out once there, so that's nice of them. Bam. And we release some bats. Yay, bats. That looks like these are the going to come out one at a time here, so... Uh... Such annoying little bats there. Dang it. I gotta remember that you can, like, charge this up and then drop it, and then if you hold the magic button again real quick, then you can keep it in place there. Uh, I'm not very good at it, apparently. <laughs> All right. And then just let go to detonate whenever the bats are nearby. Alright. Uh, uh, failed. <laughs> there we go. Got him that time. <laughs> And this other one has a lot of bats there. That's beyond annoying. 
Uh, but it's definitely nice to have this to be using this magic here instead of trying to take them all out with your sword there. That would be annoying. <laughs> Even more so. Alright, there. Took care of them. Now back over here to see what we release here. Inside we have released Grandma! <laughs> Hooray! Alright. And now we got one last path to check, I do believe, if we head up here. Got more bats. Ah, but these ones are gonna all come out there. They're all gonna come out to play. That's nice of them, at least. Yeah, if they're gonna make us deal with bats there, at least we can get them all out of the way and over with right away. And got rid of two groups of them there. And... Bam. There we go. And here we release... Ah, uh, the last little save point here. So know what that means there. Boss time's coming. Oh yeah. So let's go ahead and head back to the town. And now, oh uh, well, we got those two grandmas. Uh, the emulator lagged on me a little bit there. All right. Now we got those two grandmas that we released there, and then the mushroom as well that we can take a look at. So let's head down this way. Please save the king. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, we will do that. <laughs> Thanks for the help, I guess. <laughs> okay, now we'll make our way all the way back over here and get back to that mushroom. Yeah, I tried coming back here before, and yet you cannot talk to Gnome or the boy here and can't make our way through the bars here, so yeah, just gonna have to talk to this mushroom. Oh, mushroom sleeping. Well, you know what that means. Time for our handy dandy dream rod. Into the mushroom's dreams. Oh, well. Uh, back in the underground lake here, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of familiar. This is your hometown. Oh, okay. Well, let's go ahead and open this up here. Make sure you don't want to run out of the dream and you get lost. Oh, no. Okay, well. Oh, okay. He's still asleep there. Well, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back there. Yeah, just figure, you know, why it would make you sit through that text box again. <laughs> okay, now we can make our way back up to the save point there and use that teleporter to get back where we were and see what exactly we opened up there in the dream world. Okay, it's gotta be around here somewhere because, you know, this does look familiar there. Uh, what's down? No, no. Alright, well, let's look down this way. Maybe? Oh, okay. Yeah, this was it. This wasn't opened up before. So, now we can go over here. Oh, okay. We've got some more bats to deal with. Alright, let's go ahead and take care of them real quick. Oh, come on. Get a little bit closer there, bat. Those work out pretty nicely when they're circling in the opposite direction of my magic orb there. Makes it a little bit faster. <laughs> Got to line up the shot quite as, not, eh, quite as well. Alright, and there we go. Freaks released. A snail! Hmm. Completely surrounded by a brick wall there? Huh. Well, alright, I think that's gonna wrap things up for this episode. I'll I'm gonna walk back up here to the save point because, uh, well, we don't have a whole lot left to do in this place. But, eh, just about time to take down the boss here. But what will it be? Well, you're gonna have to wait and find out next time. Yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a like or comment below. I appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care, everybody.